So hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Lori Merrill. I'm now on the board of Shy Hack Night. Um, well, I did not expect that to be a <laughs> response line, but thank you. And um, my talk is how the Jobs Channel and me, how Shy Hack Night facilitated my career switch into civic tech. Um, so my story starts much more recently than a lot of folks who've been presenting. Um, I first came to Shy Hack Night in September of 2020. Um, I, at the time, I was a grad student in the Master of Science and Analytics program at Northwestern. Um, and I was about to graduate. And that was actually, the job market was different <laughs> at that point. Um, and it was pretty scary. And I was looking for my first job in data. Um, and I had been, I had prior career experience before I had gone back to grad school, but um, this was gonna be my first kind of tech job search. Um, and I was getting advice through my program and like, about how to do a data science job search. And a lot of it felt very alienating to me. Um, people use the method that they call spray and pray, which is just apply as many places as you can, like you know, easy apply on LinkedIn and all that, um, and like cold messaging people on LinkedIn. And I was like, I just very profoundly don't want to do this. Um, I feel like I know what I'm looking for in a job. I, and um, I just, this isn't, this doesn't feel like an authentic way for me to like network. Um, so I was very excited to see the jobs channel on the Shy Hack Night Slack. Um, <laughs> I couldn't find good screenshots, so it's just, it's called jobs. Um, you, can, you can go there if you want. The description is, it's a place to talk job opportunities. Um, but I started kind of lurking in there as I was starting to come to Shy Hack Night events remotely. Um, and I saw this post from David L, um, and I got his permission to put it in the slides. Um, and he posted an opportunity at a, a startup called Replica that works in urban, uh, like data for urban planning. Um, and I was actually really interested in urban planning. That was like, I had done my uh, internship in my grad program with CMAP here in Chicago. Um, and so I was like really excited to see this job post. Um, I DM'd him about it in Slack, which was great to like learn a little bit more. Um, and I applied and I actually got that job. So that was my first job out of grad school was from this very Slack post in like December, right up to the wire of when I was graduating. Um, but that's how I got my first, my first job in tech. Um, and I got to work with transit data, um, which folks know now I'm facilitating the ghost buses breakout. So like spoiler, I love transit data. Um, but this is, this job is what got me started working with GTFS. And um, so it was a really, really great opportunity um, and then fast forward about a year, and Derek, in, I met Derek, <laughs> uh, no, I already knew Derek, but um, he, he posted a different job in the jobs channel, and I wasn't officially looking for a job, but I saw this, and if you had designed a title in a lab specifically for me to have as a dream job, it would be GTFS data science, uh, I think that if you click through, it was GTFS data scientist, um, and so this was a job, I was like, this job seems to so, 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 so perfect. And I applied to this and then I ended up getting this job and this is now my current job um, at Jarvis Innovations, which is a civic tech group in Philly who are really affiliated with Code for Philadelphia. Um, so kind of a Code for America ecosystem um, thing. So I have now gotten literally two full-time jobs just directly from the jobs Slack channel um, and can't recommend it highly enough. And um, I like. I think there's like a broader point besides just I was lucky. Um, I thought it was kind of a more humane and targeted way to network. Like people are usually posting jobs that are like related to civic technology, so it's not just at people who have done online job searches. It can feel exhaust. You know, there's hundreds and hundreds, and the postings are like the same, and like sometimes they're reposted, and you're like, did I already apply to this? And like it's just a little more targeted. Um, I also think it's more humane in the sense that like people are posting there, like saying, hey, I'm aware of a job opportunity. And so like, you know that they might be interested in talking to you about it, as opposed to just cold messaging people on LinkedIn, which is fine if you've got to do it. Like people, you got to do what you got to do. But um, I thought it was like a nicer way to talk to people. Um, I think that this is a, a really important function that Shy Hack Night can play as kind of a civic square for people, as a place for people to connect. Like jobs are really important. A lot of people have mentioned Shy Hack Night as a way to gain professional experience. And this is like a very direct way for that to happen. Um, I also think it's mutually beneficial for Shy Hack Night. Like I'm on the board now and running a breakout group and all this stuff. And that's partially because like I literally owe my livelihood to Shy Hack Night. <laughs> so, <laughs> not, um, so, you know, it created like a, a relationship with me. Um, 
and also I think the Slack is like a nice way to reach out. I know some people have concerns with Slack because it's not officially moderated, but like uh, Shy Hag Knight does have a code of conduct. Um, and like, it, it felt like a, like a place that you can reach out in a way that's kind of like, you know, curated a little bit. Um, and so, and again, I just don't love cold reaching out to people on like totally anonymous platforms. So yeah. Um, so I also wanted to close with some gratitude for anyone who's ever posted in jobs, whether they had an opportunity, they were seeking an opportunity or just talking about something kind of relevant. Um, thanks to Shy Hack Night for cultivating the forum. And then um, also shout out to people who run similar platforms. I know there's like a couple different slacks in the Chicago area that have jobs platform or jobs channels, but yeah, recommend it. If you're looking for, if you're hiring, <laughs> please post. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm like really glad that I found uh, Shy Hack Night and the Slack channel. So that's it. <laughs>